And Lauren Tom is on tap now to give us the history of America's favorite brew. And this time, Lauren, you're actually talking about the kind of beer we can drink. That's right. We're talking about human beer and just in time for football season two. Well, it's one of the oldest and most consumed beverages and is probably as old as agriculture itself. But you might just be surprised at how much influence beer has had on our nation's history. It all began when nomadic hunter-gatherers discovered that rain-sodden grain, when left alone for a while, made a beverage that had magical properties. Beer was so important that it was actually the first recipe ever recorded. Beer even played a role in the Pilgrims' decision to land at Plymouth Rock. You see, they had planned to sail further south to a warm climate, but they ran out of beer on the journey and decided to stop there instead. Now here's some beer trivia for you. Have you ever heard the phrase, mind your P's and Q's? Well, that actually means mind your pints and quarts. It was something that people would tell each other to remind them not to drink too much. Two thousand eight marked the seventy fifth anniversary that beer became legal in the U.S. after prohibition. Today, the beer industry contributes nearly one hundred and ninety billion dollars annually to the economy and provides almost two million jobs to our nation's workforce. If you'd like to learn more, you can log on to twilighttv.org and click on Add Minute Extra. Now for Twilight Trivia. Last week we asked you approximately how many peanuts are in a sixteen ounce jar of peanut butter. The answer is seven seventy. Now for this week's question. Which country has the most brands of beer? Is it A, Germany, B, U.S., or is it C, Belgium? Log on to twilighttv.org to submit your answer and we'll draw a winner from all correct entries and send you a This Week in Louisiana Agriculture coffee mug, which you can even drink beer out of if you'd like.